What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 38 and uh, yeah you see in the last episode Jay Spearing picked up a knock, he's going to be out for 8 weeks so around 2 months, not not too bad, could have been worse, he's he's a fringe player, he's a player that I don't intend to really play too much and he's only got 6 months on his contract left so I think I'll just let it run out to be honest but um, regardless of such he's, he's still a decent player and I don't want to see any player get injured but um, he is going to be out for 8 weeks so that kind of sucks but uh, the first game is against Newcastle and this game really was just so frustrating. We just couldn't seem to put the ball in the back of the net despite dominating from the off. But uh, Newcastle were really strong as well. Uh, seems to be very good on this game. Here's Johan Kabay on the ball. And uh, my defending in this episode, guys, I want to say straight away, I, I defended just. I, I defended like David Luiz, to be honest. You know, I was always trying to play out from the back and I was always getting in a mix up and I wasn't able to, uh, to get any proper, you know, sort of clearances out. I was trying to run out from the back and just sort of play my way out. And sometimes it just doesn't work, you know. Sometimes I, because I've, I've always been like this on FIFA, you know, I've always been a sort of person that doesn't just hoof a ball up the pitch, I always try and play out of the back, you see here that could have cost me there, and instead it worked out perfectly fine, but like I said before, you know, I, I really do need to learn that sometimes I do need to just press circle and just smash the ball up the pitch and get it rid. <coughs> But my uh, philosophy on FIFA has always been just pass the ball out or run the ball out yourself and uh, try and get out the pitch and create some chances as opposed to just hoofing it back to the opposition and letting them come back at you again. So uh, I guess I do need to sort of learn that sometimes I can't do that but a lot of the time I just decide to um, play out from the back and well pretty much every time and um, sometimes it costs me goals and um, yeah well you'll see in this episode why sometimes I just need to hoof the ball and just defend a lot better really because my, my defending, and it's not just from playing out from the back as well, it's sometimes just defending normally, I can't even do that, you know, I'm sort of just leaving players off, you know, I'm going to the wrong players, I'm I'm not containing with a second man, I'm just leaving a player, I mean, this is Denver Bar skipping past Skirtle with relative ease, I don't know what I was trying to do there, I'm missing a sitter, but um, he see me here with, you know, instead of just launching a throw in, trying to play out from the back, losing the ball, and I mean, look at that man, I've got four to five defenders there, not a single one of them was information, everyone left Denver the bar and it was a simple finish I mean you know partly it's the AI, uh, the AI's fault for poor positioning but I need to take a lot of the blame for that because my defending in that game was just awful and Newcastle deserved to win really I was I was all over the place and um, yeah I deserved to lose so like I said it was it was like David Louise really I was I was just um, all over the place really but uh, the following game was against Southampton uh, at home that was obviously my first loss as uh, Liverpool manager so I was uh, pretty confident I'll be able to uh, get back to winning ways here at home to uh, Southampton but uh, like I said before, um, unfortunately my defending in this episode as a whole, not just in that Newcastle game, was really poor. But uh, we had a chance to take the lead just a few minutes in. Raheem Sterling down the right-hand side, trying to skip past Danny Fox. I love Sterling, man. Excellent, excellent piece of dribbling. He ends up crossing the ball in. It comes to the far post for Asaidi's there. But unfortunately his header goes straight out for a goal kick. But um, yeah, this is again uh, another piece of dribbling from Sterling down the right. He's, he's just so awesome. I had him on my uh, career mode series in my last manager mode series. He was awesome, but um, unfortunately, like he's he hasn't got great stamina to begin with. I know he develops, but um, he does sort of tire himself out pretty easily. But um, yeah, I mean, I was I was constantly putting Southampton on the back foot from the beginning. But that's how you play off from the back, man. Look at this lovely counter attack from the Saints. This is brilliant stuff. Mayuka goes down the left hand side here, plays a great ball to uh, Jay Rodriguez, and oh. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I, I honestly didn't think I was going to get there first. And I thought I'd slide in and try and nick the ball away and hopefully get it uh, to go back to Reyna. But instead, he just left the ball. It went straight to Rodriguez and it was a tap-in. And I, I don't know, my defending was poor. I mean, it wasn't a case of me just, you know, playing lazy defense. I just I just couldn't sort of sort it out, really. I just I was making mistakes all over the place and it wasn't good enough. But, um, yeah, I was 1-0 down here at Anfield to uh, Southampton. And that's, that's not good enough for Liverpool. And to have back-to-back defense feats that is something I really don't want but uh, you see a couple of chances get missed here notably uh, uh, Martin Skirtle's header really should have hit the target this was Ramirez's free kick well saved by Pepe Reina and uh, again you know it's, uh, it, you see what I mean here I'm not just smashing the ball up the pitch I'm just trying to play out from the back and uh, work my way out the pitch here and I do just that Gonalons goes onto the ball plays it to Sterling Sterling plays it back to Gonalons who feeds Raheem Sterling again uh, down the right hand side against uh, I can't pronounce that guy's name I know who he is but I can't pronounce his name but anyway, he cuts inside and it's a great finish from Sterling. And like I said, that's, that's the importance of playing out from the back, you know. If I had just hoofed that ball up the pitch, you know, it would have came to nothing. Yet if I play the ball out from the back, I take my time, I know sometimes I will be able to create goals from it. But, you know, sometimes I can't do that. Sometimes I can. It's just a case of sort of, you know, doing a... 
it's just a case of rotating it fairly and every now and then, you know, playing out from the back, yet every now and then just hoofing it, you know, sometimes you have to have a mixture of two. But uh, this is Jay Rodriguez uh, crossing the ball in here, but an absolute sit or miss by Billy Sharp, should have scored there. But uh, here's a corner just after the hour mark once again. Uh, it's crazy, man. We, we, we get a lot of uh, headers in, but we just don't seem to be able to uh, put them into the back of the net. It's, it's actually quite bizarre, you know, the height we've got in our team. I actually expect us to do a little bit better, but uh, just out of luck, Asaidi takes an injury here, a really unfortunate one. It was a complete accident, but um, he falls awkwardly. And unfortunately for us, Asaidi is going to be out for around a month. So that sucks. Hopefully we can get him back a little bit. Um, no, he's not. He's going to be out for ages. I'm thinking of someone else, I think. I think I was thinking of Chase Beering. But anyway, he's going to be out for a while. And um, Andy Carroll comes on here. But uh, yeah, we're going to miss Asaidi because he's definitely been the best player of the team since I came in. But um, Southampton really worth pressing here. This is a ball in, which was headed away. It came to Jack Hawk. But uh, I mean, look, I mean, what am I doing? Why am I trying to dribble out? Just put the ball behind for the corner. You know, that almost cost me a goal. And um, Southampton, Southampton sense blood. You know, they, they smelt blood. They were doing their best to come forward. This is a great block in here. But um, yeah, they, they were smelling blood. They, they knew we were on the back foot. The fear was uh, all over the place. But it didn't mean we didn't have the chances to go in front. This was Sterling finding Andy Carroll. Carroll cuts inside Yoshida, plays a great ball to the far post where Suarez is. But his header ends up hitting Kieran Westwood in the face. But from that, Southampton get the ball, come forward. This is Jay Rodriguez holding off Skirtle, playing through Gaston Ramirez. And Ramirez skips past, not sure who that was. Goes through, plays the ball across, it's blocked by Skirtle. But I mean, look what I'm doing, man. Seriously, why am I playing that ball back to Reyna? Why am I trying to play out from the back? And it's, it's just awful. It's just terrible defending. It's it's just a case of me trying to be too clever, me trying to be too cool. And it just costs me goals, you know, it really does. I need to snap out of this mentality, you know. Sometimes I have to hoof the ball. And unfortunately, that cost us the uh, the goal there to make it 2-1. And as we were chasing uh, an equaliser here, we couldn't find it. And unfortunately, Southampton ended up getting all three points. So a really, really disappointing game. Two defeats, back-to-back -back defeats. And it's all my fault. My defending was like David Luiz. It was all over the place. But... Uh, as always guys a big thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next episode very soon